This is Kevin Fry at Scenic America. Welcome to this special visual essay on a growing crisis in America's urban places. My travels take me all around the country, and it's always an eye-opening experience. Unfortunately, my eyes are telling me that our cities are in big trouble. There is a quiet battle being fought for control of the public realm, our neighborhoods, our streets, our shared spaces. It pits outdoor advertising companies and increasingly desperate marketers on the one hand against the rest of us who live in and want to enjoy our nation's great urban environments. Visit almost any American city today and you'll notice things are rapidly changing. An invasive species is annihilating everything genuine and real and historic. A kind of visual kudzu is covering up entire neighborhoods and streetscapes. The changes are startling. Slowly but surely, buildings are being swallowed by enormous vinyl signs. Entire facades, even the windows, are now covered by ads. Historic structures are topped by huge billboards. Gargantuan advertising messages, 20 stories high, are being draped over construction scaffolding. Any blank wall that faces the street is being painted over with commercial images that have absolutely no relationship to their context or to the authentic places they are covering up. More and more bus shelters and street furniture have ads. The buses themselves are often wrapped top to bottom in signage so that you can't even tell if it's a city bus anymore. Distracting, garish, animated electronic signs are popping up on buildings in full view of the street. Giant TV screens are starting to replace old-fashioned billboards everywhere. Our cities are literally disappearing under a gaudy blanket of vinyl and steel and paint and LED diodes. I just got back from a trip to California, and these are the streets in Los Angeles. What do you see? What is your eye drawn to? How would you describe the character of this place? I found myself thinking that commercial activity is obviously a central aspect of urban life, but is that the same thing as living inside a giant, unending commercial? This is West Hollywood. That's the rumor anyway. I suppose it's under there somewhere. Where did it go? Where are the businesses? Where are the buildings? Is there a real city under this blanket of blight? And this is San Francisco, supposedly one of the most beautiful cities in the world, a renowned skyline, charming, unique streets. So where did they go? When you stroll or drive around San Francisco, what do you see now? Great architecture? Charismatic neighborhoods? Places with character? Not anymore. Apparently San Francisco now wants to be known as the place to visit to see underwear and liquor ads. But San Francisco is definitely not alone. This is Washington, D.C., a place that restricts the height of its buildings to protect the scale of the streets, but that's starting to lose control of the street environment itself, which ought to be just as important. This is Miami. This is Cleveland. And this is New York. What used to be appropriately confined to the Times Square Sign District is now metastasizing throughout Manhattan. The nature of the visual environment is being altered in profound ways. Advertising is now overwhelming the fundamental character of some of the greatest neighborhoods of America. As I visited New York and places around the country, I've become convinced it's time we started to ask some very hard questions. When do we say enough is enough? How much of our city's fundamental character do we want to surrender to outdoor advertising companies? How much of the public realm do we want to turn over to global media companies and ad agencies that have no connection whatsoever to the places they have set out to dominate? At what point in the accelerating process of commercialization do we find ourselves transformed from citizens of our cities into mere consumers where our primary value in urban life is to serve as a source of captive eyeballs for marketers. And what price will America pay for allowing this to happen? 
if I learned anything on my recent travels, it's that it's time for all of us to open our eyes and see what's happening to our hometowns. We need to start an urgent national conversation about the character of our highways, our streets, our neighborhoods, before that insatiable vinyl monster eats us alive. For more information on this or other scenic issues, or to find out how to support Scenic America, please visit our website at www.scenic.org.